This was going to be, I think, a really compelling game for a lot of different reasons when we thought Aaron Rodgers was going to be the quarterback of the Jets. Obviously, that lasted all four snaps. It is still Nathaniel Hackett against his old team and a Broncos team that the second half of last week, James, seemed like maybe, maybe we're starting to find a little something on both sides of the ball here. Yeah, and they came back in that win against the Chicago Bears, right, Tom? And on the podium at Soldier Field, Sean Payton takes it, says, I'm going to let these guys enjoy this win, and then we'll jump into that Jets fiasco stuff. (laughs) Because he knows he's the one that created pretty much all of this Jets fiasco stuff with his comments this offseason. Now, on Monday in his conference call that I was on, he didn't mention anything about reaching out to Robert Sala or Nathaniel Hackett like he said he was going to. We'll find out today when I'm at practice. I doubt he says anything there as well. But if you look at this offense, and that's regarding a lot of the comments, he does have Russell Wilson playing much better than Wilson played a year ago. Only Kirk Cousins has thrown more touchdown passes. He's third in the NFL in quarterback rating, and he's playing decently well with a couple of rookies that weren't on Nathaniel Hackett's team a year ago. Jaleel McLaughlin got a game ball after the Bears win, and then Marvin Mims, their wide receiver, their rookie wide receiver, leads this team in receiving. They've added some explosiveness to this offense but the offense is still kind of middle of the road because a lot of the issues that Sean Payton said this offseason he was going to clean up there were issues with the previous coaching staff whether that was getting to the line of scrimmage too late too many pre-snap penalties Judy too many operational penalties those are continuing with this group they had five false starts against the Chicago Bears when you play this Jets defense you can't take yourself out of third and one with a false start and I remember this all comes back together to guys on that previous coaching staff texting me and hitting me up after Sean Payton's comments this offseason saying some of those issues he's saying will be cleared up. We think this offense is going to continue to have them, and we're seeing they actually are persisting into this season as well. I'm sure that has been noted in the Jets building. Uh, This definitely doesn't have the same amount of juice if Aaron Rodgers were playing to defend the honor of his favorite coach, Nate Hackett. But the Jets heard what Sean Payton said, not just about Hackett, but about the Jets trying to win the offseason teams that win the offseason. That's always in the back of their minds. But really, I think what the Jets are focused on is, can they get two straight performances from Zach Wilson like like he had against the Chiefs? That's by far the best he has looked, at least on paper. um, It it would seem that this is a helpful matchup for them because The Denver defense has certainly struggled. They certainly looked better in the second half last week, but obviously the first half, uh, they made Justin Fields look like a superstar. Maybe he is, but they certainly uh, let him do it. Uh, And and So I'm sort of wondering what kind of approach the Broncos are going to take against a Zach Wilson who can either, you know, outplay Patrick Mahomes or something much, much less than that. Judy, we'll get a sense of the defense he's going to be going against. Justin Simmons, their star safety, missed the last two games. My sense is he's trending in the right direction to possibly play in this game. There's a lot of optimism of Frank Clark coming back, I'm told, and playing in this game. And then Baron Browning, who's coming off of IR, I'm told, actually, in these next couple of practices. may take a couple weeks for him to come back. But, Tom, all of that plays into the Randy Gregory release that I think you guys are going to talk about uh, a little bit later. 